Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have such a beautiful video for you today. We're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin action right now. I'm going to explain in this latest pullback that we are seeing right here off the NPOC, but why I believe that overall we will be making another high here. I am expecting the pullback here because this is a very key level, but I'm going to explain live in the time with you right now why we're looking for this pullback to make a higher low before taking that high once more. I will actually give you the golden nugget right now. Okay, I'm feeling very generous. It's been an absolutely Oof. Oh, one of the best weeks of trading I've had in a very, very, very long time. It's been lovely. I'm expecting this high because you see this over 5 million new shorts coming in right now. I've been trading for over 10 years. Okay. This is what I'm looking at every single day. I've seen this pattern play out thousands of times. We hit the key level. Yes, it is an acceptable short. We're getting the pullback, but you've got to be very tight on your, <laughs> you got to be very quick on your take profit one. Why? Because overall, I'm expecting a new high to be made here. I am expecting a new high to be made where to at least take out that high and take out the early short positions moving up towards above 21,400. Of course, time will tell whether I'm right or wrong, but you know, who do you start to believe after this? After <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. We'll see whether I'm right or wrong, right? But I am expecting that high to be taken out. I am in um, long positions right now. Personally, didn't take that short. Why? Because yes, it is very technical, but for me, I'm expecting another high to be made. I wanted to make this video for you. I'm very excited. I'm very happy indeed to be fair with. And I actually want to start off with talking you through this latest rise to the upside, of course. I'm going to be then explaining what I'm looking for next. Using the insights and intuitions that I've built up, I'll explain to you why I'm looking for this high to be taken out. Okay, so yeah, I hope you're prepared for this one. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it, right? So the last video that I was that I made, I was obviously explaining why I was in a short position from the fake out of that triangle and a long position from the swing failure pattern of 18,500. Of course, I've been stopped out of that short in profits now, and I maintain in this long position. There's a few things that I gave you over on Twitter for absolutely free. Uh, you can't say that I'm not very generous over here. We're obviously looking for that fake out of the triangle rise, 18,500, and then a pump. It's like I said here. Now let's get this bounce underway, baby. We wanted to get that bounce underway. Why? Because we had seen the rise, drop, rise, and we had seen the rise Drop to 18,500. Let's see the rise. What was I looking for? I was looking for the test of 19,300. 19,300 at the time was very key for me. This is why we're once again down at around 18,500. 19,300 was our key level. And if you want to know the best level of confluence that you can ever have, it's, it's Igor himself. This guy is an absolute legendary trader. Okay, the whale himself uh, literally said to everybody in our team, 18,500 is the must hold. If it does, we're looking for 19,300. And of course, what happens later that day, Bitcoin got the pump to 19300 and I want to talk you through what happens at 19300 here because it was actually extremely technical indeed we can see we come up to that 19300 zone we start to get this pullback in the form of a bull flag and then a reclaim but I want to show you the insights that I was looking at live in the time and updating my team yeah this is what I was telling everybody so of course well actually let me just show you this one let me just remind you of this call because I think this was absolutely beautiful after we had got that rejection from the triangle I told my team please check all the timestamps please verify that you can see this was all called way in advance we were short from that triangle breakdown until we get the swing failure pattern of the 30th of June low let me just add that on the chart for you one more time we're going to take this ray tool and we're going to come over to the 30th of June and we're going to click I'm just going to label that as key for you right now so you can just see this okay so that's the 30th of load that's the 30th of june low and as you can see here i'm waiting for the swing failure pattern of the 30th of june low let's just remind you what actually happened here let's come down on the five minute chart right five minute chart this is what happened yeah we come down we tap that level for the swing failure pattern with the instant bounce oh baby oh oh my god i mean that's so it's just so beautiful we were in the short from the very high and i told everybody the low i told everybody this is where it's going to be right this is the level you've got to be ready and waiting for that's where i'm going to be shorting till that's where we're chilling with our shorts till let's just be patient you know and and i think this is where the insights are beautiful this is where the insights are beautiful why was i not waiting for the overall low how did i know that this was the key low how did i know that Oh, well, that's what you get when you've been trading this market for 12 years, right? <laughs> well, not this market in particular, but other markets in general. Of course, I started in the stock market, moved over to cryptocurrency. But nevertheless, this is just the, the type of intuition that you start to gain. I knew that this was a significant low. I knew 19300 was the make or break level. Of course, this is where we could have put in that lower high, right, and made a new low. But what happened? We hit the level. We formed the bull flag. And this is now the insights I'm going to share with you that I was sharing with my team. Okay, so 
Of course, a brilliant 19, a brilliant bounce to 19, 200, 300. That for me was the take profit one on the long. I then had the long from the absolute low of the move of the swing fire pan. And I also had the short from the triangle still running. And EG, I'm waiting then for Bitcoin to show its hand. Oh, oh shout out to Atom, by the way. Oh, mate. oh my God. I'm, 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 and this has been such a good week of trading. Well, Atom today up 30%, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, let's move on. I am going to get excited otherwise. So, yeah, I basically gave my team this. This is the range to trade. We're at 19,300. I'm not going to get really bearish. I'm not going to get really bullish. I'm looking at what can I take actionable trades off of, right? So, all I have right now is our rejection from the value area high, and we're going to be looking down for the move off the value area low or the value area high once more, right? So, we're going to get a long position if we come down to the low or a short position if we come up to the high. E.g., I'm telling my team, let's not get over bullish, over bearish. Let's trade this range. This is what we're ready and waiting for, right? This is on the five minute chart. Ladies and gentlemen, please once again, always be checking these timestamps just to verify everything I'm giving you is, is before it happens. None of this is hindsight. This is giving you the information that you need to know before that move happens. Just like I called the low here, I was, you know, one day in advance of where the low is going to be put in. I'm giving that information inside that group. I mean, oh, yeah, this is basically what happened. This is as we progress throughout the day, you can see here, that was the range we were trading, right? This is the channel I gave you, and it actually gave the most perfect long entry with the wick into that value area low before that moved to the upside. So this is where we were looking at that channel. We had one more rise to the, as you can see, value area high, rejected, moved back down to the value area low. So that exact channel that we had was respected perfectly, right? Another rise to the value area high, another move down to the value area low. So we gave the short into the long position. And then what happened on the next touch? We broke out. We got the breakout. E.g. now we can maintain, if you missed, if you were in my group or you were watching on YouTube and you missed this long, you then were given the next long setup, right? Which was off of the value area low. And then there was no short, excuse me, I'm getting a bit excited here. There was no shorts we had off that value area high because we simply went straight through the level. And this is what we mean, trade the reaction. You know the level to be ready and waiting for. And if you go straight through it with no reaction, maintaining that long position, right? Maintaining that long, look for higher. And it's actually like I said to my team right now, as long as we are maintaining above that high and we actually come up and we got the back test, we know we have got to be looking for higher. We started to get that pump during the middle of the, well, it depends where you live, but you started to get that pump through the middle of the night. And you also should have hopefully been aware of ES pumping very hard and the DXY dropping, which is all bullish for Bitcoin. Okay. So like I said to my team here going on, you know, we knew that that was a very important low. We got that long entry. And Bitcoin actually went through two levels of resistance that we were looking at like butter. 19,700 through like butter. NPOC 2275 through like butter and 2650 also through pretty easily, right? So if you're trading the reaction, you know these levels. And if there's no reaction, there's no trade. It's as simple as that. Bullish market structure remains. And I made it very clear for, for my team in that regards, still looking for higher on Bitcoin at the moment. That was at 9 a.m. this time. Okay, so we're looking at still looking for higher on Bitcoin. There's no reason to think we're not going to come up and hit that NPOC. Please, ladies and gentlemen, just look at here. Tell my team we're or I am still looking for higher on Bitcoin. And what happened? We went higher on Bitcoin. We went higher on Bitcoin. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. But you can see here how we had that reaction off the 30th of the June low. We're still looking for higher at the time. Okay, it's like what I'm just saying to my team. Overall, while the bullish market structure remains, got to be staying in those long positions. And, you know, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going right now. And then that brings us up to what's happening right here. Okay, you can also see the flip of all these levels, right? So daily resistance flipped into support, move up through the highs. NPOC, initial rejection, overall flipped into support up to the highs. And it's the same, you know, until proven otherwise, we're still going to be looking for the same. Of course, we're expecting the pullback here. Like you got an initial pullback here. You know, this, you know, let's say you sculpt shorted this, you could have taken a short position. Overall, maybe you got stopped out break even. It's not the end of the world or a minor loss, right? The same thing here. I'm not ever going to say this is a really bad short position. You know, it's better to short here than it is, than it is like at the very lows. No, so this is an acceptable short position, of course. You can get that pullback. All I'd be saying is I'd be looking to lock in that take profit one and protect myself on this trade because I do think there's a high probability of higher, right? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, I want to now talk you through what I am looking for next. And I just want to do one quick announcement before that. And that is actually that we are going to be doing a today, a free live stream for you, a free live stream for you. 
And let me just explain why and how you can get involved on this. So like I posted over on here, I have had literally one of the best weeks of trading in a very long time. And to celebrate and let everybody get in on the action with me, I'm going to be going live today at 8 p.m. UK time. So we're talking about in a few hours time for every single person for free. Yes, this stream is normally exclusively for the champions, but it will be available for every spectator, contender and champion via our website for free. Really, I'm just... I'm feeling very, very, very happy and very generous. I'm not normally giving this away for free, right? But we're going to be going live today for you all to celebrate to celebrate this week of trading from the fake out of that triangle down to the exact level we were waiting for, for the perfect bounce on Bitcoin. It's just been, oh, it's been brilliant. So I want to share that with you. I want to share in more detail after this video, really you know, and we can also give an update of what's happened here. Are we still looking for a larger pullback or what's happening next? I'm going to be going through everything in a lot of detail for free. All you need to do is obviously come over to chartchampions.com because this video is going to be on the website and you can click on start now. Of course, if you want to get all the updates that I'm going through during the time more, more often than not, then, um, you know, that's for the champions. If you want to learn everything for contenders, but today we, if you're a champion, a contender or a spectator for free, you're going to get that live stream. All you need to do right now, chartchampions.com, create a free account, get ready for uh, that live stream. And of course, if you can't watch it live in the time, if you're watching this Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can come back and watch that for free uh, with you, with your account there. So yeah, do not miss out that opportunity. It's going to be brilliant. And uh, yeah, I must admit, I'm very happy and excited for that one. So first time we've ever done a free live stream like this on the website. So yeah, that's big, right? That's very, very, very big. Um, I mean, <laughs> very big like this Bitcoin pump. Um, so yeah, I told you, let me just calm it down. I, I, I sometimes must admit on these like free public videos, I do like to get a little bit hyped, a little bit excited. It's uh, it's all a bit, I, I, I must admit, I have a lot of fun making these videos. I truly have a lot of fun making these videos. Like, oof, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I, I don't get emotional when I'm trading, but when I'm making these videos, I get, get emotional because it's like, I, I just feel the excitement, right? I can, I, and I know the people watching this are also excited and happy with me. I know it, I know it, I know it. If you're watching this video, how can you not? I gave you everything you needed to know. I gave you all the levels you needed to know. Uh, I also saw these comments. So it looks like this guy keeping it with the big momentum. Look at this. Short from 25,000, took it to 20K. Short from 21 to long um, to 18k that's the fake out of the triangle to the target and then what do you do you get into those longs and you bring it up so you're shorting the highs long in the lows it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> i mean other people managing to get into those long positions you posted this before the pump of course we did we always posted it before the action happens but yeah it's just been an absolutely beautiful week of trading. And yeah, so I want to talk you through what's um, what I'm looking for for the week to come. Well, this is obviously a key, key, key region for me, right? This 21,400, 21,600, um, you know, this is a bit of a key zone for me. Uh, if we break out from these highs, then I'm really going to be simply looking up to these last series of highs around $22,000. Yeah. And if we can reclaim that, we can be looking back up towards the monthly. But for me, there's a few, well, there's a, there's a lot that we need to do to do that, of course. Um, first is this 21400 I still remain uh, pretty confident that we will be, I mean, just look at all these early shorts coming in. I'm seeing this time and time and time and time and time again. So at the moment, I'm going to be looking for another rise above this high. Of course, I'm going to be, admit, I can be wrong on this. I can be wrong. Okay, uh, but for, until proven otherwise, why would I think that I'm wrong? Yeah. So the ES right now, still with strength, also getting that pullback similar to Bitcoin. We're going to look for that rise. DXY, a bit of a rise taken out of the high. We can also look for this downtrend to continue locally on the DXY. So you can see here, I'm actively analyzing the market. I'm actively looking at the volume that's coming in here on the order flow. I'm actively looking at the other markets to make informed decisions on my trades. This is never a gamble. This is always a very thought through, informed decision. I'm not here for 100% win rates. I can lose trades. I do lose trades. But what I'm after is when I win, you've seen my profits over these past few weeks, right? <laughs> I've been very transparent with it. When I win, I'm winning big. We're talking 50, 100, 150, $200,000. You know, some of these, I made $100,000 in one day on that challenge account the other day, right? So my winners are big. If I'm taking a losses, I'm taking losses between five and ten thousand dollars at a time i mean you know because i'm taking into account fees and a little bit of a loss so my losses are, are stretching up to thirty forty thousand dollars but that's like at the absolute max so my winners are like three four five times bigger than my average losses like way bigger and that's the key here we're not after 100 percent. we're after consistent gains and profitability over time right and that happens by making having your technical analysis marked out it's like i say to my team what we want to be doing all the time 
I want to just remind you this for, you know, I want to remind you all this, that we have to, da -da 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 -da, and this is why we have the alert set, right? Because imagine that you just blindly shorted 2275. You just have a short there. This is not what we teach. We would never teach that. We would teach, have the alert set and judge the reaction. There's no reaction. You look for the next level, right? And that was looking for higher on Bitcoin. And we got higher on Bitcoin. So this is the key. This is the key that I teach. Do your technical analysis, mark out the levels, set the alert, trade the reaction. If there's a reaction, what's a reaction, ladies and gentlemen? What's a reaction? This is a reaction of the absolute low that we called. This is the level we're ready and waiting for. Wick onto the level, straight through it. That's a reaction, right? Okay, that's a reaction. What is not a reaction is this, for example, just going straight through levels, going straight through levels. That's not a reaction. You have no, you know, you don't even have a thought process of, shall I take this? Shall I not take this? Okay, so that's what I wanted to talk you through here. Again, a bit of a quicker technical analysis, and that's primarily because I'm going to be going live on the website for you in two hours time um, for a free live stream. Okay, I want to be talking you through this as it's happening on, on the website. So yeah, again, this is normally only for the champions. We're going to go live for everybody here. You're going to be given a bit of a treat. Um, and yeah, we'll be able to see whether I'm right about this high being taken out, right? So uh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn everything that we teach, chartchampions.com. That'll be for the contenders, all the educational material. If you want the like the live updates in the time from myself and the coaches, and please don't sleep on the other coaches. I mean, do not sleep on the other coaches. They're also just as good as me. Like, oh, man, the Eagle calls right now are insanely good, insanely good. But if you want that, that's the champions. Uh, you know, you got all the educational material, you got all the insights live in the time. Uh, you basically got everything you could ever want. So yeah, I'm just going to end wrap up with that and just say thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day ahead. And that's me signing out with the non-financial advice disclaimer. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I uh, hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the live stream on the website. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye.